Rick Salmon here. Thank you so much for joining me. You know, I just finished teaching my workshop here in uh, Croton on Hudson, New York called Croton Creative. And one of the students asked me, what's this about, Convert for Smart Filters? Well, I answered the question, but I thought there might be a lot of people out there who never tried it, so I thought I'd show you. What we want to do is we want to go to Filter Convert for Smart Filters. And what this lets us do, it lets us apply a filter just like we're using an, an adjustment layer and a layer mask, which means we could apply it selectively and mask in and mask out the effect. So you go to Filter, Convert for Smart Filters. Nothing much has happened in the Layers panel, as you can see, except there's this tiny little icon here. Now when we go to Filter, we go to Sharpen, we go to Unsharp Mask, what I'm going to do is I'm only going to sharpen the woman. I'm not going to sharpen the background. I don't want to sharpen the background because most noise shows up in dark and out of focus areas. I'll sharpen this a little more than I normally would to show you the effect. I'm going to click OK and now look at the layers panel. We have just like, remember I said that this lets you use a filter just like you're using an adjustment layer and a layer mask. So you click here. It's very important to do that. Black selected as the foreground color. Select, right, I have black selected as my foreground color. I'm going to select my soft edge brush here, and now I'm masking out. I'm er not really erasing, but you can think of it that way. I'm masking out that effect, and down here you can see uh, what happened. That's gone. Now if I make a mistake and go like over the subject's face here, look at that, all I have to do is have white as the foreground color, Right, and I'm getting rid of that. So this is a really cool feature. Let's uh, in uh, Photoshop uh, CS5, it lets you apply your filter selectively. So listen, if you want more information on what I do in my workshops, go to www.ricksalmon.info. I'll catch you later.